good YouTube welcome back to another video just finished training not that long ago but starting this vlog off now before we head to Las Vegas look at the setup look at the outside gym setup used to train in the morning now it's all dusty but still gets the job done before I went at 5 in the morning I used to train here outside but anyways like I said, we're on our way to Las Vegas, about four hours away, so it's pretty late right now. It's about like two o'clock, haven't ate anything, just breakfast after I finished training. So see you guys in about four hours. Alright guys, so we're like halfway right now, we're about like two hours in our drive. I hadn't ate since breakfast, so I had to find healthy alternative here on our way to Vegas, so we got a chicken burrito from Pollo Loco probably one of the healthiest close to one of the healthiest items in the menu fits my macros only about six to seven hundred calories right here it's just chicken rice beans and the tortilla so we're gonna have this and then probably another meal when we get there but for now this is all we're gonna have back to the room from dinner literally got food coma coma was falling asleep in the car but we killed a burger some tacos and fries and chips so of course who wouldn't be in a food coma right now we we're about to fall asleep but I'm gonna pick up this video in the morning when we're about to go train Good morning YouTube we're day two here in Vegas uh, we just woke up, we're on our way to the gym. Right now, we're trying to decide where we're trying to go. Fit Club or Dragon Slayer. If you guys don't know, that gym opened up uh, this year, I think, and uh, Flex Lewis owns it. Haven't been there. This guy's been here like 20 times already. So, so we'll see where we go. But last night, we ate some good food. We ate pretty late and woke up pretty early, so still a bit full. But you guys already know we gotta get that workout in every time we travel. Boys and girls, we just pulled up to the gym. We're gonna be training at Dragon's Lair. But first thing first, gotta get that pre-workout in. We're gonna go with the Blue Slushy. You guys already know from DHP Labs. If you guys wanna try it out, you guys can use my code DREW10. Would recommend it, especially if you're not that much of a caffeine junkie. This only has like 200 grams and has more stimulant which is good because we're trying to chase a pump we're not trying to you know overdose on caffeine cheers all right so we just warmed up for like 10 minutes warmed up tricep shoulders most of the upper body now we're gonna move into our first chest movement could be incline dumbbells. So remember, elbows always stay in. You flare them out. You focus too much on your shoulder, and you can injure yourself. So flare in, chest up.
to flat bench, but instead of doing a barbell, we're gonna be doing this flat bench machine right here. So you just basically press up and you're focusing more on the chest. Machines are where you get that mind muscle connection. So let's get it. Three sets, uh, total 15, and then we already did one warm up set, so this is our first working set. A new exercise, this is my first time doing it. It's gonna be a standing chest press. So you're just standing and pushing the weight up. You're not using like on the bench, you explode up with your with your heels, but right here it's just basically you're standing flat footed and you press up, focus the whole chest and squeeze. So I'm going because you see really light because I want to make sure I'm getting the mind muscle connection and I'm doing it right since it's my first time. gym has this machine, recommend you do it. Especially if you want to increase your lifts like on, on bench, this will help you because you're literally exploding up. So when you go back to doing regular bench, the weight will seem like. Finishing off chest, as you guys know, I like to finish off my chest day with a fly movement. So we're gonna do this seated fly machine. So this one's different, it comes up right here. It doesn't just stay low. So we're gonna do, we did one warm-up set, we're gonna do a total of five sets to really burn out the chest of 12 reps. and I was making sure I was getting that squeeze at the end. Chest workout done. We finished it in about, well, we're about to crash. About 45 minutes to an hour. Notice we only did like four or five exercises. That's enough. You need to make sure you don't want to overtrain the muscle because there's literally no point of overtraining the muscle. You're just exhausting it more and you're not going to recover properly. So go in the gym, take about 45 minutes, an hour at max to get in, to go in there and do your workout. Make sure you're not doing any more than that. Like I said, overtraining is one of the worst things you can do. Now it's time to go get some breakfast. Stay tuned on what we get. And we back, this time we to eat some breakfast. We got a skillet right here. We got eggs, there's some kind of chipotle sauce. We got chorizo beef, ham, and potatoes, and of course, got a little bit more carbs, bread. When we're out on trips like this, I usually don't track my calories, like I said, once in a while you eat out, 
It's not gonna hurt you. As you can see, we trained already and we trained fasted. We can afford this amount of calories right here. So yeah, when you're on vacation, just have fun with your diet. Don't be so strict. Oh, black. Jeez. Looks clean. If you guys want to check out more of the car, my dad did like a whole video about it. Root Aesthetic. Go check his channel out. Get him to 1K. He's so close. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this two-day mini vlog. Showed you guys the Dragon's Lair. That gym is dope. Can't wait to go back. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and sub for some more content. Always appreciate all of you guys that support. Hit that like button. And just by viewing the video, I really appreciate it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.